Okay, folks, our time is up. This is what it should look like. Oh, yes. Gonna have your house smelling really, really good. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna gently try and remove this tenderloin. Look at there, it's already breaking up as we pull it out. Outstanding. And we're gonna take it and put it in a pan. Look at it already falling apart for us. Okay, we're gonna get it over here in a pan. We're gonna let it stand. And as you can see, this tenderloin is really ready. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull some of the beans out with a slotted spoon. We're gonna pour, put those beans over into our dish over here. So when we come back, I'll have taken the beans out, put it in this dish, and then we'll start to pull the pork tenderloin. Okay, folks, what you see now is we have pulled the black beans out, and now we're just gonna take two forks and see how it just easily breaks down that tenderloin. We let it sit a little bit, and you see it's still steaming, but we got some nice, tender, juicy pork tenderloin that we're going to sit and we're going to pull it down. And it's that simple, folks. You can do this on your way out to work in the morning, and it'll be ready for you when you get home from work. Just add the ingredients like we did in the first video, and then you can sit, come home, pull it out of the crock pot, let it rest while you go change clothes, get comfortable, and you see how quickly and easily this all broke down and pulled apart. And now what you're gonna see me do here, that I've gotten most of it done, most of it pulled apart there, and we're going to take, and we're just gonna add a little bit of the juice from the crock pot just to keep it moist. And that's all. That is, that's how we do our pulled pork tacos using the crock pot. Easy for guys, easy for ladies, always for the working person. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time.